Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House, it's been the greatest honor of my life to be able to serve and represent the citizens of Eastern Prince William here in this House, especially as the first Hispanic to ever serve an elected Virginia government. And while it hasn't always made me the most popular person in this town, I've always put principle over politics and partnered with anyone willing to put the people ahead of the special interests. I've worked hard, very hard, day and night, to provide honest, proactive, responsive, and accessible representation to better the lives of those that I've been privileged to represent. And I've doggedly kept the promises that I've made and done what I've said that I would do, even when it's been difficult. Well, today the time has come where I must keep yet another promise. As you all know, last year I was elected chairman of the Republican Party of Virginia. And when I ran for that position, I prompt, <coughs> excuse me, I ran for that position to rebuild and reshape my party into an organization that operated similar to the way that I've served the people of the 52nd District. A party that brings in new people, brings people into the process, that does what it says it will do, and works to make Virginia a better place to live, work, and raise a family. In seeking that job, however, I promised that I would not seek re-election to the House if I were to win the chairmanship. Well, I won. And the time has come for me to make it official and announce that I will not be seeking a fourth term in the House of Delegates. Don't cheer too loud. I simply cannot put into words how grateful I am to those that have given me the opportunity to serve in public office through their thoughts, prayers, time, finances, and votes. For me, it has always been about serving, not power or position. And because God has opened other doors for me, I'm glad to be of service elsewhere. I don't know where this road will lead, but I'll be faithful and certainly faithful in following it. To you, my colleagues, it has been a privilege to serve you, to serve with you, and to know you. Everyone in this chamber is here for a reason, and indeed, everyone here has skills and talents to offer. It might sound a little funny to hear the chairman of the Republican Party say so, but it would serve this chamber well if partisan politics were set aside more often. You don't have to compromise your principles, however, to get things done for the people of Virginia. Work together and produce results. The citizens are looking for leadership to help protect the special quality of life that our Commonwealth here provides. I was blessed to be born and raised in a great Virginia. It's in your hands to ensure that my daughters will inherit a better Virginia than we did. Thank you all for that you're doing in that regard. Again, it's been great to serve with you. Last but certainly not least, I want to thank my wife Amy, our family, friends, and so many who have dedicated time and resources in giving me unthinkable opportunities. While I may be leaving this house, I'll still be around, and I sincerely hope that our friendships will endure, will endure and that our shared work will be fruitful. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise for a request and a motion. Gentleman may say it. Request that the uh, journal reflect that the, my seatmate, the gentleman from Warren, Delegate Athey, is away on pressing personal business. The journal will so reflect. And I would move, Mr. Speaker, on page one, House Bill 1714, if that would go by for the day. <laughs>